but uh, it is almost here. Uh, our payoff is just about to uh, materialize. The one thing we're watching tonight are the clouds. They've started to stream in and you can't really tell from this satellite perspective, but these are high clouds. Uh, so we're really not stopping that uh, cool down all that much right now. We will see these get a little bit lower as the night goes on and we'll start seeing those temperatures come back up. This is what we're waiting for to move through is this front. Uh, we've marked it as stationary because it's really not going to move a lot tomorrow and eventually uh, it's going to sort of wash out here to the southwest, but it's still going to be bringing in warmer air, uh, at least a lot warmer than what we've got. You can tell the difference in temperatures there and when you start to look at the visibility out ahead of that front, there is some fog across central parts of Indiana, Ohio and Illinois right now. It's not real dense, but that's the stuff that we can start to expect once we get into the second half of Saturday and probably through the day on Sunday as that warm air sort of glides over the snowpack here in southeast Michigan. Seven degrees with two below for the wind chill. Not much of a breeze out there. It's out of the south at five. And we're going to see pretty light winds through the night tonight. Temperatures got up to 16 for a whopping high today. Uh, still woefully below average. We did start in negative territory, but I wanted to show you that number. Most of January, our average high is at 32. And now our averages have started going the other way. So at least according uh, to the statistics and the 30 year norms, we've gone through the coldest part of the year and those uh, averages will start rising as we head towards spring. As we go through the weekend, there's not a whole lot in the way of precipitation. Could see a sprinkle Sunday morning and most of that's going to be north of Detroit. Much better chances of rain as we get into Monday and that's going to stretch overnight into early Tuesday, but it will be all rain, especially when you see these temperatures. You'll know exactly why seven degrees is where we're going to Tonight, we're pretty close to that low right now. Numbers start coming up as we head towards dawn. Should be in the mid-teens waking up. And believe it or not, we're going to 38 even without the sunshine.